Hey guys, Don D605 here. I just wanted to actually give you guys a quick developer commentary for uh, Revival X uh, development for the, in this uh, last few months, um, as well as actually some of the other times I've actually been working on this actually for the last eight months. This has been actually. I just want to say that Revival Tech is one of the OG uh, Girl Tech copies, and I can prove that by my channel re-releasing it in. Uh, Eight months ago. Now, of course, um, when uh, Revival Tag was first released, it wasn't really the best, but it was something to start off with, and it got the community thinking, you know, we can make Real Tag copies and move on from there. You know, and uh, this is one of the OG copies that actually went up a long time in its development. The only Real Tag OG copy that actually uh, took a long time to get to where it's at. And you see what you're looking at right now is actually me actually testing out the servers and actually seeing it work in its working state. Now, of course, when I tried Chapter 3, um, it was actually working normally, the animations and everything. But there was uh, an error with the servers, which means people were able to connect. But there was no multiplayer syncing, meaning like that Photon was actually having some problems. So um, I had to uh, lay off for a few months to actually uh, coop up and so I could actually uh, recap on what the, what I needed to do. And uh, yeah, and then when Chapter 2 released, I switched from Normcore to Photon. So yeah, you can kind of see where things kind of changed from there. Because uh, here's the thing. Uh, Girl Tag does not use Normcore. Normcore is too uh, out of date for them to actually uh, use that. Photon is what they use, but in Photon they don't use pun. Most film fan games use pun, but Girl Tag uses real time, and because real time is uh, more advanced, they use that instead with vote alongside with Photon Voice as well. In the sense that most Girl Tag copies will be using this to support making copies. And I had to step up my game to actually make sure that Chapter 4's final project build would actually use this to make sure that it would get the best kind of uh, updates out there. To make sure that the copy, this copy would actually stay, stick true to uh, its, its, uh, its, uh, its development, you know, it's a... Uh, I really wanted to make sure that I had my own copy, uh, like it would, like I dreamed to a year months ago, and I finally did it. You know, and uh, I'm I'm glad that you guys were able to stick through with this for a few uh, months when I was actually developing it at first, and I'm happy that I got to actually entertain the people and actually got to see, watch, have my people from watch this happen as it was going around, and yeah. But if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, it is currently in its state as PC VR only. Um, it is only at, uh, it's not available on the IQ standalone, unfortunately, because every time I tried to, uh, well, so far, every time I tried to put on Oculus a as an APK file, it would just either crash my uh, Unity editor or it would just fail and give me an error saying facade error or something like that. And uh, that's where I decided in my head, you know what, I'm just going to put this as PC VR only, where people can play with PC VR to experience OG Grill Tag. And to me, that seemed like a perfect idea. Because if you're going to buy a PC, you can, you, why not? Just go play Grill Tag's OG versions with the servers unofficially. You, it, this is actually a pretty decent update. I do have to hand it back, get, sign myself on the back for this. But this is where I'm going to have to conclude the updates for Survival Tag because I am finally done with making updates. And, you know, there's one reason why. It's because after that last update I made, this is the last update I made where I fixed everything I needed to do. And I'm happy for it because I'm actually quite surprised that I even got this far. Normally, most people would just, like, Never be stuck. In, they'd be stuck and confused, and and uh, be uh, then they quit because they they don't know what they're supposed to do. But I always I knew I'd be able to have a project to stick true to and uh, be able to make sure that it gets the best uh, way to actually become better as it improves. 
and actually constantly improving as it goes along. Now, I'm not saying my copy is perfect. There's a lot more real tech copies out there that have more uh, uh, activity than mine. But mine is just one of the more original ideas out there that just stuck true to its feeling. And I hope you guys will support it. And I really enjoy uh, you guys' support to me as well. And like, I really I appreciate you guys supporting my projects and like, my ideas out there. And I really just... I'm just glad that I get you get got you guys out here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks for supporting my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. And if you want to see me on a, a revival tag, be sure to hit me up. It's on D605 on Oculus or Steam, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, just be careful what you see on the internet, because if it's not me uh, posting, if I'm not online and I don't say it's me. Uh, most likely, you're probably seeing something fake, so uh, watch out for fake links, so um, be careful. Uh, but anyways, peace out, guys. Don't forget to like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.